Okay, um, it depends, the critical element in answering the question of is there a process uh, between the old earth and the end of the old earth and then leading up to the creation of the new earth, it all depends on your understanding of the millennial kingdom. Because there are people who believe that when Christ returns to the earth to set up his eternal, that, that he returns to the earth and does set up his eternal kingdom, so at his return as his feet come down on the Mount of Olives, the old earth is at that moment transformed and there is a new heavens and a new earth and we go right into the eternal reign. Now, there's different viewpoints of how the timing of the judgment of Revelation 20 and where it fits in there. Those of us who believe in a millennial kingdom usually believe Christ returns to the earth, sets up the millennial kingdom for a thousand years. There is yet another rebellion at the end of that time. And then that uh, rebellion is squashed. His people are living as resurrected people on, this, uh, on the earth in a millennium. There are some who believe that the, uh, some of the resurrected people who lived in times past are up in heaven and others are down on earth. But then all that are taken from this world who are the inhabitants of heaven will be brought down to the new earth. How long that takes, uh, you know, there's no way to, to say. It's almost like, uh, you know, there are those who are alive at Christ's return and they go up and then he's coming down. And again, this depends a lot on your perspective on things. But um, how long does that take and what's the nature of that process? There's a number of things we don't know, and so I don't really have any definitive answer to that, but it does depend on your viewpoint related to the millennium.